You basically cannot scroll for more than five minutes on TikTok without seeing this viral hair gel. Mish Beauty Tropical Oasis Anti-Humidity Firm Hold Gel has been all the rage since it's launched just a few months ago. And it's definitely no secret that this product works incredible on tighter curls and coily hair. People all over my TikTok feed with these hair types have been using this product. It's been changing their life, but does it work on looser curls? So today we are putting it to the ultimate test on my looser curls. Hi, welcome back to my page. My name is Barbara Delmonica. I am the CEO of Curls Monthly. Curls Monthly is a curly hair subscription service where each month we send you five plus of the best curly hair products on the market so you can try them out before committing to buying them. And in the July 2024 mailer, we have the Mish Beauty Tropical Oasis Firm Hold Hair Gel. And on this channel, we talk in depth through all these different popular curl products that are inside of my subscription. I'll give you how to's, I'll give you the ingredients, I'll give you the who, what, when, where, how, why, full review on each product. So whether you're a Curls Monthly subscriber or not, you know what you are buying. If you are a Curls Monthly subscriber, make sure you comment below how long you've been a Curls Monthly subscriber. We are coming up on two years of Curls Monthly and I'm curious to know how long you've been with us. I am going to use this product today as a one and done styling product. I love the way it smells. Mish Beauty actually suggests using this as a one and done styling product. The founders actually literally told me, don't use it with a leave-in conditioner before. So I said, okay, challenge accepted. If you're new here, I usually do and apply my curly hair products in what I call the CGO order. So I always do C for creams first or leave-in conditioners, then gels, and then I'll do oils when my hair is dry. So they really claim that I can skip the C, but we'll see how that goes. And after this video, we are going to know once and for all if it's good for loose curls as well. For reference, I am about like a type 3A curl type, if that's something that you do. I don't really think that curl type matters, so before we get even too far into this video, please know to not get too stuck on your curl pattern. I don't think that it's this end all be all thing that if you don't know your perfect curl pattern, you know, you're going to die and self combust. It's just really not that serious. And plus, every single head of hair has multiple different curl patterns. Like my curls underneath are a lot curlier than my curls on top and that's so normal. But why it might matter for this video or for this product is because tighter, more coily curls tend to be coarser. They tend to be thicker strands of hair. Whereas less tight curls tend to be a little bit on the more fine end. Of course, I'm exaggerating, but usually that's going to more matter whether or not a product works for you. It's really not so much about your pattern of your curls, but it's really more about the thickness of your individual hair strands, the thickness of your hair in general. If you have, you know, high density or low density hair, those are really the things that kind of play more into fact. But because I have never seen a person with my type of hair use this product online, that's why we need to try it. So you know me, I always love to take a deep dive at the ingredients of these products. And this has a very small ingredient list, which is always a big pro for me. I always like to keep it simple as much as possible. Mish Beauty's products are always very clean, so we love that as well. So up first we have water, then after that we have fresh pineapple juice extract, which that's really where it gets its smell from. I mean, you can see the color, it looks very pineapple-y. Um, but it smells like a beach. Like I'm telling you, uh, I'm not, I usually don't even like sweet smells. This is such a good smell. It just smells like pure pineapple. The next ingredient we have is aloe vera juice. Aloe vera juice is so incredible. It's one of the best moisturizers that you can get for your scalp and your hair. So it really is such a good product. And actually aloe vera actually has film forming technologies, very light hold film forming technologies, which is basically what's going to help and aid to give your hair a little bit of a cast. So aloe vera by itself, if you were to put it on your hair, you would almost get a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a gel cast, that crunchy feeling from a gel. Aloe vera will just kind of help hair families glide together. You know, it does that naturally. But then afterwards we have glycerin. Glycerin is a great uh, ingredient that actually pulls moisture from the air around you into your curls. And then we have maltodextrin BP Colomer. So this maltodextrin BP Colomer is what makes this Firm hold gel, firm hold, one of the ingredients. So that is a holding ingredient. That is an ingredient, a chemical purposely formulated to be put into gels 
to make sure your curl families clump and stick together, which is going to give you that definition. It's also just going to give you that really nice, firm hold that lasts days and days on your hair. Then we have a word I am going to butcher, which is glucodeltalactone. This ingredient is going to hydrate, soothe, and even soften your hair strands. Then we have sodium benzonate. That's a great ingredient for reducing dandruff and any type of scalp irritations. Hydroxyethylcellulose, that'll help moisturize. And there is a little bit of protein in here. So we have hydrolyzed quinoa protein in there that again, helps your curls really hold their shape because it is a protein. With that pineapple juice extract being the second ingredient in there, pineapple juice is also so great because it has vitamins and minerals and antioxidants that your hair needs. This gel on paper is the perfect gel for summer. So let's test it out on my hair. I'm going to wash and condition and I'll meet you back here in a second. Okay, so I've washed and conditioned my hair as I normally do. And now it is the moment of truth to use the Mish Anti-Humidity Tropical Oasis Gel. Let's see. So normally what I've been doing for styling is on soaking wet hair, I'm actually going to break my hair into three sections, brush style and then apply my gel. That's just how I've been doing my curl routine recently. So that's what we're going to do today because I want to keep it as consistent as possible. Now to do my hair, I have been sectioning out my, my bangs too because my bangs I have to style all kind of separately than everyone else. But I'm going to do that in the mirror because there's no way I can do it on camera. But basically to section out my bangs, I just do a little V shape right at the top of my head because that is honestly the sections or that's how my bangs were cut I cut them I would know and then I just take a clip this is the curls monthly alligator clip and I'm going to clip it right here I'll make sure to link my alligator clips below so when I split my hair into three I just take my fingers and glide it along to make sure that there's a very designated part there you don't want any hair from up here getting in your section my hair already is starting to dry. I always re-wet each section before I brush style it. That makes the biggest difference, especially for brush styling. And especially because I don't really have product in my hair right now, and I'm really just ending with the gel. It's almost like the water is your product, which water is the best moisturizing ingredient because it's moisture. Okay, and then I'm just taking my Bounce Curl Define Brush and brushing that through. Then I'm gonna take two more alligator clips and then just clip that section back and repeat on the second and third sections. All sections are styled. Now I'm going to style my bangs. I'll show you how I do them. I'll just release this front section. As always, spray it down. And then I'll take my define brush and I will just define this section individually and then the other side. Then you, you can kind of see like where the uh, brush made my individual curls so I'm just going to kind of roll with that and some of them are a little too big so I'll separate them but basically I am just finger rolling my bangs okay that is all done so now for the moment of truth, the Mish Tropical Oasis hair gel, what we're all here for. Obviously we've seen videos online where people are breaking their hair into sections, they're gliding this product through their hair, then they're brush styling. For me, because my hair is a little bit on the finer, looser curl side, I like to add my gel at the end of my routine as sort of like a finishing product. So, you can definitely see this gel has like a very jelly-like consistency, which makes people believe it's pretty thick. But as we went through the ingredients, it's really not that thick of a product. It just really looks thick. Like I said, it smells heavenly. I really cannot stop smelling it. So I am going to start with about this much of product. I'll glide that between my hands. Ooh, this really does feel so creamy. 
Ooh, I'm excited. And then I flip my hair. And then what I'll do is I'll very gently, to not disrupt the curl pattern, glide it over my hair. So see, I'm like very, very, very gently. I'm not like pressing my curls because that would make me lose my curl pattern. I'm just very much like gliding it onto my hair. Then I'll take my hands and scrunch and pull. So I'll just go up and scrunch and pull. And that's the sound you want to hear. That sound shows that you have enough water and product in your hair. So that is a good thing. Now I'm just taking a t-shirt towel and I am going to scrunch and pulse my hair with that. And this will just start beginning the drying process so it doesn't take as long to diffuse. And for extra hold, I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit more of this gel. This is gonna ensure I get a nice firm hold. After I dried it, and again, I'm going to scrunch it in. Now when I go under here to scrunch, that's me scrunching my bangs. FYI. But this is gonna give me a really nice crunchy cast. I know I look a little crazy right now. We're gonna go diffuse. I keep my hair like this from here on out because I'll diffuse the beginning part upside down. So I'll show you what that is. Okay, so my hair is 100% dry. I dried it with the diffuser all the way. You can air dry, it's just obviously going to take your hair to dry a lot longer. But if you air dry, you're going to get even more of a beautiful gel cast, which is always great. So right now I'm dry, but my hair does have a gel cast because it is a firm hold gel. So I am just going to simply clap the crunch out of my hair. So you don't need an oil to do this step. I just like an oil for a little bit of extra shine. So I'm just going to take an oil on my hair, flip my hair over and clap. You can already see like the side that I clapped versus didn't, like it just really is so different. It really does just finish off the routine so nicely and double the volume. So that's how you really honestly properly use a gel that has like a stronger hold like that. Because then these curls will still last. But okay, moment of truth. Pretty good. Wow, this gel is actually fabulous. Like my curls look so soft and defined. This is a really good wash day. I need to know your thoughts below. Especially if you see my hair all the time. It does look different, it really does. That worked out well. I really do love this. I think that this product works great on looser hair. I would be very curious if you're like a wavy person who subscribes to Curls Monthly and you got this, need to know how it was for you. But clearly this was great results for me. If you're looking for another video to watch, like this video, I'm gonna link the how to apply gel video so you can watch a different way to apply gel as well than I did today if you're looking for something different. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.